James Rumsey was born in Cecil County, Maryland in 1743. In a 1784 letter to George Washington, he indicated how his vessel would work. He set about building his first steamboat early in 1785. By 1786, he was living in Shepherdstown, Virginia, now West Virginia, and was ready for his first public demonstration. Rumsey's 1786 demo was not as successful as he would like due to a leaky boiler, so he invented the water tube boiler and returned in 1787 for his second and very successful demonstration on the Potomac at Shepherdstown. Twenty years ahead of Robert Fulton, he was in many ways ahead of his time, and he was also the first to demonstrate a boat powered by jet propulsion. Yeah, where it would take in the water and it had a ram that was powered by the steam, an armchair, and push the water out the back, of course, pushing it forwards. Rumsey's engine followed the convention of the day by using a Newcomen-style atmospheric engine to pump water into and out of the boat. While Rumsey's engine was simple in design by today's standards, the lack of technology of his time required great skill to visualize and hand make the various parts. A small water pump was needed to inject water into the boiler at each cycle. Main water valves in the keel opened on demand to allow water to fill the water cylinder on the up or steam stroke. It was necessary to condense the used steam to create a vacuum in the steam cylinder, thus allowing the atmospheric pressure to push the piston back to the starting point. These valves closed on the down or condensing stroke while the main trunk line valve opened to allow the propulsion water to gush down the trunk line and out the stern. Between strokes, several valves in the box keel or trunk line opened to allow water to flow, thus preventing water hammering. While all of this was happening, water was being injected into the boiler at a controlled rate. Many of the intelligentsia of the day were impressed with James Rumsey, and after meeting him in 1784, George Washington had given a certificate of support which helped him in his application for patents. Thomas Jefferson described him as the most creative and inventive genius I've ever met. A Rumseyan society was founded in 1788 to encourage the development of Rumsey's ideas, and Benjamin Franklin served as its honorary chairman. Sadly, James Rumsey died penniless in 1792 while in England seeking additional patents and support for his inventions. In the early 1900s, a new Rumseyan society was founded to erect a monument dedicated to his vision. And in 1985, to commemorate the 200th anniversary of Rumsey's demonstration of his steamboat, a new Rumseyan society was established with the ambitious goal of building a working replica of Rumsey's boat. Building the half-scale replica of Rumsey's steamboat was an adventure into the unknown for all those involved. When Rumsey sent a sketch of his power plant to George Washington, along with a description of his operation, some things he did not depict in his sketch. A square box indicated the steam valve. A cone depicted a check valve. The main valve and condenser control linkages were not depicted at all. He said to Washington, It is not necessary to depict these, as any country blacksmith can figure them out. The all-volunteer crew building the replica spent many hours with many country blacksmiths to fill in these blanks. Volunteers from many disciplines, such as plumbers and welders, carpenters, farmers, office workers, electricians, medical doctors, mill workers, engineers, and many, many others, showed up to help. The Rumsian Experiment replica has been campaigned in the Mid-Atlantic area since 1987, with venues like the Three Rivers Regatta in Pittsburgh, the Festival of the First in Philadelphia, a George Washington celebration at Mount Vernon, plus many live demonstrations and parades at festivals and celebrations within 300 miles of Shepherdstown. 
some 20 years the Rumsey experiment, a dedicated crew have brought the message of early American technology to the accomplishment of James Rumsey in the thousands. Thank you. 